Hey there everybody, Decaf here from YSFlightHeadquarters.com and today we are doing a shrink wrapping tutorial. Now I've done shrink wrapping tutorials in the past and I've talked about them, but I have been playing around with it and I found some new things that I think you guys will enjoy. Uh, it simplifies our work a lot and I have uh, a quick little demonstration for you. Uh, we're going to talk about how to shrink wrap things and then we'll talk about uh, what we need to do uh, to get this new thing that I've uh, learned. So here is my uh, sort of uh, in work in progress uh, 727 model. Uh, you can see this is the cargo version. And we want to apply uh, a FedEx logo to this. So let me go ahead and import that. And what we're trying to do here is shrink wrap uh, this guy onto the side of the fuselage. We want to get uh, everything set up so that all we have to do is shrink wrap it and we're done. Nothing else. FedEx, there we go. Logos, new logo. All right, can't see it. Where There we are. So here is a Federal Express logo. And we want to shrink wrap it onto the side of the fuselage here. Uh, I'm doing it on this side because it's a little bit more complicated when we have two different objects. When we just have a single object that we're wrapping around, things are uh, much nicer. So the first step that we want to do is orient this in the right uh, manner. And when we orient things, we want to do that in edit mode rather than object mode because of how we're going to be working with object mode later on. So I'm going to rotate this uh, about the x-axis 90 degrees so that when we look at this, it's just like that. And I'm also going to scale this down slightly. And we're going to position it right about there. Uh, on the other side, the logo is pretty much equidistant on either side of the cargo door. So we're just going to make it simple so that the express is on the nose side of this little cargo door over here. So here we go. Uh, let's bring this in nice and close. Double check that everything looks right. And you know, this size actually looks pretty darn nice. And I kind of want to keep this size. So we're going to uh, work to do that. Well, first things first, I'm going to duplicate this real quick and move it to the second layer, just so I have a backup copy. Uh, if I press number two, I will see my backup copy there. And now we can begin. To do a shrink wrap, we have to apply a modifier to our object here. In this case, it's our logo. So we hit add modifier while we have the pink box, uh, pink outline around our object and we have it selected. So we're going to go up here to shrink wrap and it brings up this little dialog box. Now this first line OB is the object that we are targeting, meaning what are we shrinking wrapping around? And in that case, it's this fuselage here, which happens to be named fuselage. Pretty nice and simple. You can find the name of the object two different ways. You can hit the N window and come up here and you can actually copy paste this or you can look down here to see what the name is listed there. So let's go back to our FedEx logo. Now notice that when we switch back and forth, only when we have the FedEx logo is the shrink wrap option open. And that's kind of important. Now we can paste in the name of our fuselage or retype it in, whatever you want. This is case sensitive, so be careful. And now you see right away it moves in and is sort of like hidden underneath the surface a little bit there. It's not really what we want. Well, we can offset it from the surface a little ways. And in order to do that, I have to bump this out really, really far. But we have it sort of wrapped around there. Now, if I look at it from this angle, you know, not too much just changed. I mean, these guys are a little bit weird down here. That's a little uh, crunched up there on the upper bars there. But, you know, it looks okay. But as soon as we come to the side here, we realize, oh boy, this, this just isn't working. And I want to point out a couple things here. In edit mode, uh, you can see how I have a vertical line going all the way from top to bottom. And that's causing a problem here because it, the shrink wrap is trying to wrap it around every single corner uh, on my fuselage. So every single vertex point there that you see, it, it wants to create a little wrap and keep going around it. But that's not really working out too well. Now, this is okay for some things. You might be able to go in and give some horizontal cuts. Let's go ahead and try to do that. Let's add a few midpoint cuts here and maybe a midpoint cut over here. Give that a try and 
let's see how that changes things. Oh yeah, it looks much nicer now. So we can go over here and reduce the uh, offset by about half just by doing that one little change. But you know, that really doesn't look good. It's really bumpy and it just, it's not what we want. And, and really, I mean, this doesn't look cool. It doesn't look professional like you'd see on a FedEx airplane. Well, let, let, let's just continue for right now so we can finish this off. Well, uh, how do we finish this? We have a couple different options here. Um, the first thing that you might do is you might want to edit this at a later point in time. You might want to edit the modifier. If that's the case, then you don't want to mess with anything. You just keep going about your business, modding the rest of your aircraft. However, if you are all set, absolutely 100% sure you do not want to change it, go ahead and hit apply. Now, if I go into edit mode, you see that I'm not out here sort of ghosting over it. I'm actually, this is now my new mesh. Now I can undo this with a control Z and it'll take a little bit to get back there and I can cancel out of that. But if I run out of undos, well, I can't do that anymore. So let's get rid of this and go to our second level, move to our first level. And let's take a look at the different way to shrink wrap. Now the first way uh, was really just wrapping it around, meaning whatever height you had this logo, that's as much arc length as you had around your fuselage. So think of it this way, if you had a three by five note card that you're trying to wrap around a um, soda bottle, a very large soda bottle, uh, as you wrapped it around, you'd bring your hands closer together, meaning you'd shrink the top and bottom pieces just a little bit if you're looking at it from the side. Well, there's another option here in uh, shrink wrap that is projection right here. So if we click this guy, we're going to get a little bit of different option. Now I'm going to go ahead and paste in my fuselage and I'm going to just bump that a little bit just so it automatically goes quite nicely. But now we have to give a shrink wrapping projection. So what it's looking for is where's the light coming from? So imagine you're projecting this logo onto a, a movie screen. Which direction is that? So this is in this case, we want to go along the Y direction. So I'm going to click on Y. And you can see that you know, that's really not that great. But if we toggle on and off, note how this upper level isn't moving at all. Same in the bottom. It, it's still the same. So what we have to do here is prep the logo just a little bit. So I'm going to select the fuselage and the logo and isolate this. And I'm going to go ahead into wireframe mode just for a moment. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a horizontal cut through the entire logo wherever I see a black line that I know is a uh, horizontal line in the fuselage. And by clicking the middle mouse button I can snap to the axis that I'm dragging along. So I can quickly go in and take care of this. Now this might add a lot of extra vertices and a lot of extra faces that you don't want to have. Well, you can go back in and clear them up a little bit and merge things around. Um, but for right now, you really need to have these horizontal lines. And right about there, there we go. Looks like these guys are just going to squeak in. So let's just take care of this guy real quick as well. And here we go. Uh, almost there. Three more cuts to go, I think. There we go so for that guy and then for this guy as well. And we want to capture the angles. It, it just adds a little bit more uh, to what we're actually doing here. And there we go. And it doesn't have to be extremely precise here. Uh, just close enough will work. Uh, there we go. So you don't have to get super, super close in and get it right. But the closer you are and the better it is, the better your final product is going to be. So I'm not doing it right now just for the sake of time, but you will want to probably do this in a little bit more care and detail. There we go. And let's not forget the S's out here. There we go. And just the bottom of the P here. Okay. So now we can go back to the texture view mode and we can try this again. 
And wow, look at that. Looks a lot nicer now. And if we look at the front here, it's wrapping around everywhere. And it's really capturing what we wanted to do here. Now this projection is really, really nice because it, it just wraps it right onto the fuselage. I mean, if we look at it from the side, you see, okay, well, maybe it's a little bit deformed. But when we're looking at it from the front or pretty much from most angles, pretty close to straight in, it looks really, really nice. And we can actually probably bump this down all the way to one. And that is a really, really good shrink wrap. So I'm not going to do anything to this right now. I'm just going to hit apply. And I like it like that. So I think we're almost all set. But I want to uh, share with you one little trick that I do with shrink wrap uh, things. I mean, I put a bit of time into making my decals and we want to reuse them as much as we can. And if we already have the shrink wrap applied and we've accepted that shrink wrap, well, now this new mesh can be manipulated quite nicely. So what we could do here is duplicate it, rotate it about the Z axis 180 degrees and drag it over. Now this isn't going to work 100% perfectly because I was starting to get into the nose area up here with the X. But if you were working on something more towards the middle of your fuselage, this might be a way that you could uh, sort of bring a shrink wrap around and reuse it again. So uh, I hope this was useful. If you have any questions about doing uh, these shrink wraps, go ahead and throw me a comment down below. Send me a PM on ysflightheadquarters.com. I'll be happy to talk with you about it. Hope this is helpful. Until next time, have fun with this.